this bag that have the filters. Fritz Pierre Louis is a Haitian businessman. He's teamed up with an American father and son. The trio are figuring out innovative ways to get Haitians clean water. Well, we came here right after the earthquake, and have been our job here is basically to bring water to people who don't have uh, clean water. A, lo- a great majority of that was even before the earthquake, so that's the need that we're addressing. Four days after the quake struck, Jack and John Rose flew out to help the relief efforts. They run a non-profit called Waves for Water. The water will flow. You'll be able to protect the water. You'll be they met Fritz as they were handing out aid and clean water to quake survivors. Since then, they've distributed 80,000 water filters to Haitians. I grew up in a country where somebody made a decision water for everyone, like in America. So you're a kid, you're at school, and you go to faucet. And that decision was never made here. Getting clean water was a problem which existed before the disaster. The United Nations says a 2008 study showed only two in five Haitians even drank clean water. Even less had access to toilets or latrines, around one in five. The country also has no wastewater treatment plants. That means the risk for waterborne disease is high. And when a cholera epidemic struck months later, that kicked efforts by relief groups into high gear. We joined the men as they taught a church group in Leogan, Haiti, the location of the quake's epicenter. They showed how the filters work and how to maintain them. When they're, when they're lined up, it is locked. When they're opposite, it's unlocked. This particular system can provide 100 gallons of water a day. To prove the point, Jack threw filth into the bucket and then ran it through the filter, which uses the same technology as kidney dialysis. So somebody figured out or thought, well, if we can clean blood, maybe we can clean water. The water is coming out clear, and that's the first good thing. But even better, this filter takes away waterborne diseases like cholera, making it safe for me to drink. Tastes pretty good. Pierre Louis and the Roses also started an assembly warehouse for the filter kits they hand out so locals could get jobs. The building was Pierre Louis's old distillery destroyed after the earthquake. It's been repurposed for something new, restoring hope. John Mo, the Associated Press, Leogon, Haiti.